Welcome back to the TigerCreate tutorial series. In this part, we want to use multiple animations on one object. For this, I dragged a pirate boat onto the water. This is one object. First, we define one animation. It should go right and left two times. I click the record button and set the first key, the starting position, in frame 1 and later on we want to change the rotation too so I set a key for the rotation. Now after maybe uh, 20 frames it should be on the right side and move it over and I go back to frame 1 and copy the starting position as ending position and scale to. So now, when I scrub around, it goes to the right and back to the left. And um, now I add a button using the plus sign in the asset navigation menu, plus button, and I name the button ship right left. Put the button to the top left of the screen. I have to add the ship to the button, of course. I go here to the plus sign and the button properties list and I choose the ship. And the start frame is 1, the end frame is 40. Now let's try this out with a preview mode. The ship does not move. As soon as I click the button, the ship goes to the right and back again. I want this two times, so I click the button and tell in the button properties repetitions true. Preview mode, I click the button, goes to the right and back and right and back again. Now I want to hide the button while this is happening, so I want to hide it for these 80 frames, 2 times 40 frames, so I define a button animation, I record frame 1, then it should be back on frame 80. We'll just copy this position in frame 80, and then in frame 2 the button should move outside. And this is the same position I want to have in frame 79. So when you look at it, I scale it down a bit. Start in 1, the button moves outside and then gets back in again at the same position. So I scale back. I go to the button properties list here. The ship is started when the button is clicked and the button should move itself outside. So the button ship right left is chosen. It takes 1 to 80 frames to do this. Now let's switch to the preview mode. I click the button. The ship starts. The button is moved outside. When the ship is back, the button is back too. Now I want the ship to go under. For this I just define another animation in the ship's timeline. I start with frame 50. Please uh, leave some space here between the first animation from frame 1 to 40 and the next animation because you might want to change later the number of frames you use here and so on and then you have to change lots of things. So always leave some space between the animations. It's easier to remember these numbers here too. Though the animation starts in frame 50. And then I want the ship to go down in frame 60 here and rotate it a bit. So, so you see it starts here, it sinks, then I want to move it to the left. And I set the rotation back again to the value of 
0 degrees. Then I move the ship up again. And from here it should appear. So I copy the start values as the end values in frame 90. I start scrapping in 50 when the ship should sink. It goes down to the left, up. And then it just comes in again and we can restart the animation. So this animation starts in frame 50 and ends in frame 90. So we just add another button here, use the plus sign, choose button and name it ship goes down. This is the name of the button. I place the button here to the upper right. Now the second button should be connected in the button properties list with the ship too, like the first button, but this time it uses as a start frame frame 50 and as the ending frame frame 90. And we want to have a click sound too when the button is clicked, we use the splash. So now I go to the preview mode, the left button moves the ship and disappears, the right button <laughs> lets the ship go down and play some sound. I try it again. That's what I wanted to have. Now the right button, when it was clicked, should go away too. It needs to go away for 40 frames from frame 50 to frame 90. So we start here in frame 1 and say in frame 40 it should be back. Then I go to frame 2, move it outside and copy this to frame 39. So when I start in frame 1 and scrub it, you see after 40 frames the button comes back. Now I connect the ship goes down button to the button properties so when the button is touched it moves the ship and itself. Ship goes down from 1 to 40. Now I save and change to the preview mode with the left button the ship goes right and left. With the right button, it goes down. And I go back. So now it would be good if uh, the button can move the other button away too. So the first button should move the second button away. But the second button only has an animation of um, 40 frames, so let's make it a bit longer. I want to move it to frame 80, so I deselect record mode, mark these two frames and move them over to frame 80 here. Let's zoom in, move them to frame 80. Now this button goes away for 80 frames and this button here goes away for 80 frames too. And now I give the first button the command please I add the ship goes down button too, go away. And I do the same with the second button. This button here is the ship goes down button and when it is touched it should move the other button that is called ship right left button away. And here I use all frames, all 80 frames we defined. So now, when I watch it and click the left button, both buttons go away and come back. And the same goes for this animation and the buttons are back again. So nothing evil can happen when uh, some kids are trying to touch all buttons at once. That's it for advanced button animations and for objects that have multiple animations. Enjoy and experiment a lot. Bye bye.